it's coming around your side. Yeah, that's it. Nice to go, bro. Okay, no luck with the lions. Today we uh, headed to where they were last night and they had moved on and we didn't manage to find them again. We did have, have a lot of roaring last night, um, about a, maybe a kilometer from where we we're camping, but inland, so there are not that many roads there. Uh, we might, they might turn up a bit later on. Andy was up in the middle of the night because uh, he thought there was a lion right outside our tent, but it turned out to be a dream. He was uh, zipping up the flaps, asking if he could come join me in the master bedroom. I told him to, to like toughen up, go back to sleep in his little swag. Um, so, and then, but then, uh, searching, searching, searching for lions, nothing happening. But then we found a beautiful leopard. Uh, she was drinking down by the water, got some shots of her drinking, but then she moved right up went probably within a meter of our vehicle uh, absolutely no fear totally habituated then she moved up inland a bit and we got her climbing up into a tree and she was chasing something around in the tree you couldn't really see you just saw like movement of the branches but then afterwards on the footage we saw it was a squirrel then i think that squirrel went in a hole in the trunk of the tree because she kept going to this hole and trying to dig something out of it and then eventually she went down and moved off so that was great we got some lovely shots of her and now we are moving on uh, along the river we're heading to Serondela to have a cup of coffee good morning. Then, good, good morning good morning yeah now. so nice to get a leopard and especially a leopard uh, that was relaxed and a leopard and also that there was no there were no other vehicles to get in our way so good luck there we'll get the lions later This is the problem with booking only a week in advance is we get the worst campsite in the Haha. -Ha. The view is exceptional as you can see but there's absolutely no shade. So now it's two o'clock in the afternoon all the other campers are relaxing under the big trees over there and there and we are in the direct sun not that pleasant but it's all my fault it's your fault Rob look at poor Andy I want a refund multiple fans and, and Andy's uh, swag room is not not the coolest it's like a sauna it's like a sauna whereas my um, master bedroom is pretty pretty cool if I open the windows and the fly sheets got to get a nice breeze going through it. So Andy had to move here into the main area. Multiple fans. Complaining a lot though. Well, I only got the fans about five minutes ago. Right? The fans were there. You could have taken them. You only got the fans because I gave them to you. You had the fans. But it's not really... Anyhow. Anyhow. We'll survive. Stop, stop the whining. Your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> of course. There we go. That'll cool you down nicely. All right, I'm going to go sit outside, Andy. I'll come join you. Okay, bring a chair. It's really nice out there. So we unfortunately can't even sit out here looking at our beautiful view. We are, uh, we actually have to sit at the back here. So the only bit of shade in this campsite is the shade from our tent. So 
this is our this is our spot where we sit and this is our view we can see a bit of that a bit of that but mostly that no 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 Rob please don't leave me alone <laughs> And these little yeah. stokies. Anyhow, we're sitting here admiring the view, so I thought I might talk about solar panels a bit. Back when we were here in October, November last year, it was really hot and we were really struggling with power. We had to take our third battery through to town every second day to have it charged on mains because we just didn't have enough power to keep our fridge and freezer cold. Uh, we uh, back, back then we only had one 100 watt foldable panel. Then we added the Starlink, which by the way, uh, recently became totally illegal in Botswana. So if you do see shots of the Starlink or of Andy streaming videos in the bush, it's uh, they're from a previous trip, uh, maybe in January, prior to it becoming illegal. Um, so when we added the Starlink, we added a second foldable panel plus a semi-flexible panel on the on the roof rack, and we seem to be absolutely fine now. Uh, we generating as much power as we are using, a little bit more. I think we'd still be in trouble if we had, say, three or four cloudy but warm days. Um, so I still want to look at getting a bigger panel, but while we're here, I thought I'd mention how much better the semi-flexible seems to work than the foldables. They're all cheap Amazon products. None of them are name brand, high quality um, panels. But if you have a look here, the two, where it says Barry Solar up there, the solar panel that's on Barry's roof over there is putting out 50 watts of power and the 200 watt semi-flexibles that are on the ground over there are putting out 73 watts combined. So each of the foldable panels are putting out about 36 watts and the uh, semi-flexible panel is putting out more like 50 watts so it's doing a much better job. They're at roughly the same angle to the sun. However, the one thing I noticed with that semi-flexible one is that if you cover even just a small amount of it uh, in shade, uh, even just 5%, it seems to basically shut down the entire panel. I believe that there are different solar cell technologies. Some of them are like that. I didn't do my research. I just bought it. On the last trip, that wasn't a problem because I didn't have the jerry cans. But now, if, those, if the car was facing the other way, those jerry cans would throw a little bit of shade onto the panel and that will shut it down entirely. These are my foldables. I've got one that has two panels and one that has four panels so I think with these ones maybe if you block some of the light on a single panel the other panel will still work uh, fine so I'm going to block some light there then we're going to pop up to the roof here here's my beautiful panel there and I'm going to block a little bit of light there as well as you can see the light uh, these do sometimes throw shade down here let's go see what happened as you can see here Barry solar has gone down to 13 watts uh, even though we dropped blocking only maybe five percent of the panel uh, that really uh, degrades the entire output whereas the trailer solar which is the two folding panels has only gone down to 40 watts. It hasn't decreased nearly as much. Hmm, what have we learned, Andy? That your equipment's broken. It's not broken, but I think the moral, moral of the story is, you check that if you're, like with solar panels, there's so many different ones on the market. Uh, don't buy the cheap ones maybe that's the moral of the story and also that for years <laughs> <laughs> and also yeah like so so this the the, the, the panel on the vehicle uh, was pretty cheap uh it would be it works beautifully actually get puts out nearly 100 watts uh, when in full sun um but it can't be shaded even slightly and that's an important thing to know before setting it up so if that panel was on the roof of a vehicle where there was no way for a, any shade to come over it then it would be perfect 
but or if you know if it was a portable panel if you set it up as a portable panel it would also be great because you could just put it in full sun um, but the way i've got it set up next to those jerry cans is not going to work we can go forwards now hmm? we can go forwards now forwards yeah I'm crazy but he's fine he's not coming towards us what you can stop he's not coming towards us he's going towards the eye is coming towards us <laughs> don't joke bro no he's <laughs> fine he's gonna walk right past i think so yeah i'm sure i am a hundred percent sure he's not even looking at us look how far he is if you look at the camera there so Andy hasn't yet completely no, lost his fear of elephants. No, no. <laughs> we came around the corner and that big elephant was standing right there and he slammed the brakes. I got to fright. <laughs> okay, dog, I'm filming this beautiful baby. Looking into the sunset on the boat there. Oh, wow. Okay. 